Hello everybody, how are you all doing? We're back here with another live stream. And there actually should be slightly less echo now because we actually got a lot of the uh, room set up so there's more things for noise to uh, bounce off of. So there should be slightly less echo this stream. And I also just got the brand new microphone and the extra, or not extra, but the rest of the acoustic foam so I'm gonna install all that tonight. And hopefully by tomorrow we'll have like a really good sounding stream again. But I think today we're just gonna have to deal with the old microphone and the uh... uh oh. Uh, uh oh. I can't find any... uh oh. Well then. Um... I guess Steam was offline for a minute so there might be no sessions available at the moment. Uh, let's do a restart. Sounds way better. Okay, good. Good to know. Because, uh, yeah, we did kind of put some more things up in the room, which has kind of dampened a little bit of the echo. But tomorrow it should be about as gone as I'm going to get it once I get everything set up. I just have to wait like 12 to 24 hours for the foam to finish expanding because it comes uh, vacuum sealed. So once it's fully expanded, I can start putting it on the walls and then everything should sound much nicer. Just got a troll diamond gator. That's unfortunate, Brick. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Sorry to hear that. Oh, also, guys, I am really excited for tomorrow's video. I had the most insane chase happen this morning. It was absolutely crazy just how long the chase was for such an interesting trophy. I'm going to leave it at that, though, and let you guys figure out kind of what it is. But it was crazy. I'm excited for it. This has got to be like the most relieved I've ever felt finally getting an animal down. I'm really excited for it. Nice, Ben. That's awesome, dude. Oh, yeah, bro, bro. For sure. For sure. Hey, EH, how's it going, dude? Hope you've been doing well. I just finished my move and we've got most of this stuff set up, so I'm finally back streaming again. Oh, and also, I've got a little bit of a better setup for my webcam as well. Maybe we'll do a webcam stream at some point soon. Well, not able to connect, so that's unfortunate. Uh, which one should we go to? Oh, I guess the server went down that I was trying to connect to because I don't see it anymore. I was hoping to do some elk hunting, but looking like we're not going to be able to. Um, it really depends, Tough. Uh, technically, you should, like, in theory, find something every 100 kills, whether it be a diamond or a rare. But it's not always the case because at the end of the day, it is random. But in a lot of cases, you will get them every 100 or so. But I mean, for example, Flinter went like a thousand kills on his Red Deer grind without seeing a single diamond. But then I was grinding Tiawaroa instead of Quattro, and I ended up having a crazy amount of diamonds. But the thing is, for me, it was in a very weird pattern, right? I'd go probably three to four hundred kills with nothing. And then I would get like four diamonds within the next 200 kills. So it was really strange the way things always went for me. So it's not always a matter of like getting them uh, every 100. It's more of like averaging out a certain amount in your grind. So let's say you kill 2000. You might go the first 1000 with only one diamond, but then you could get like 10 diamonds within the next 500. And then like two or three rares within the next 500. So it does spread out. It's more of like an on average you'll get one roughly every 100, but it does vary quite a bit. Uh, what are we missing still? I think the 22 is what we need now. There we go. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, it's good enough. I think that's good. We don't really need anything for other class ranges, do we? There's no class 3 on Layton, I don't think. So I think we should be okay. Oh, not that one. Definitely not using the starter scope. There we go. 
All right, let's get this uh, strange loadout set up. I think this could be a fun loadout though. This could definitely be a fun one. Hey Ty, how's it going dude? Good to see you. All right, what time's the server at again? 836, so elk should just be ending. Maybe we can snag an elk before they're gone. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure, CJ. We're just gonna jump around from server to server, find whatever we can, and then uh, probably do a little bit of great one grinding towards the end of the stream. Hey, Constantine. Hey, Duxton. Hey, Ibex. How's it going, man? Nice, Nate. That's awesome. Congrats on those diamonds. Nice, Dragon Slayer. That's a good turkey. Uh, pretty much anything above that 4.60 is pretty decent for the turkey. Uh, what just happened there? That was weird. I swear, sometimes the ducks are just very odd this up. As I was saying, case in point. <laughs> Right as I'm saying the ducks are weird this update. We have that happen. Oh my. Uh, not sure, Potato. I don't know when we'll jump back to the red deer grind. Probably not until we get our next whitetail great one. Because I really want to get that thing down. That looks like a piebald duck, probably. Now, I did see one female that looked a little bit different, so if I can spot her again, maybe it wasn't different. I thought maybe I'd seen a leucistic one, but I guess not. Hey, hello, how's it going? Setup all finished? It's mostly finished. I haven't actually got to set up any of the stuff that I got today, but I finally got my microphone and the rest of the foam panels in the mail. So after this stream, I'm probably going to start setting those up and then by tomorrow everything will be the way that I want it for the most part. Let's try a shot right here on this little piebald guy. Oh my gosh, we nailed him. Oof, 22 horn is just so satisfying. This has to be, like, the most satisfying class 1 weapon in the game. It's just, the sound is just so nice. Absolutely love the 22 Hornet. Hey, DJ, how's it going, dude? How's it going, man? Can we, can we hit a Hail Mary, maybe? I don't know where to aim here. Uh, definitely none of those dots. Best spots for elk on Layton? Uh, it kind of varies from server to server, but this one's pretty good. Uh, this little stretch of river down here is also really good. Uh, this is a decent lake as well. So is this one, this one, this one, and this one right here. Excuse me. Um, what else is good for elk? It's changed a lot since... The last time I really hunted them heavily. Oh, oh, hi there. Uh, there's some elk. Speaking of them. Let's go back and grab this duck real quickly. Since we took it out, we should probably grab it. That would probably be a good thing. Little piebald guy, 1620. Mr. Tynes is waiting for you to shoot him on Rancho. I sure hope so, man. That would be like such the the amazing, or that that wasn't even an English sentence right there. This is what happens when I take a few days off of streaming, guys. My English gets worse, and I didn't think it could get worse because it was already pretty bad. But as I was saying, I sure hope that uh, we do find the great one today because that would be quite the like housewarming gift, you know. 
move into a new place, get a great one the second day of streaming. That would just be too perfect. That would just be too perfect. Some black tail there. Or no, that's a white tail. Maybe, uh, maybe Mr. Great One's right here. Imagine. I mean, it looks like a decent deer. Uh, maybe we will try to call them in. How to get the lines in the binoculars? Uh, that is a different set of binoculars, actually. This is the range-finding binoculars that get unlocked a little bit later in levels. I can't remember exactly what level you unlock it, but I'm pretty sure it's like level 30-something, like 33 or 38. One of those. That is a good whitetail. And now it's a dead whitetail. Hey, Mike, how's it going, dude? It is kind of brushy, Duxton, but... I think part of the appeal of uh, Leighton for me is the species. I like the Blacktail, I like the Roosevelt Elk. It is a little more of a brushy map and it does take a bit of searching to find like all the spots for animals, but I think it's worth it in the end. And 221. Decent deer. All right, so trying to think of what we could go for right now. I think moose is actually the next thing that's going to be drinking. I think moose is the next thing we can chase after. However, most of the good moose areas are taken by other people at the moment. I mean, we could start right here and then run north. That might be a cool way to do it. Because I don't hunt that section of river too often. Oh, we're on Leighton Lakes. Yeah, Constantine, we did move to a new place. That's why I haven't been streaming the last, like, four or five days. But now we're pretty much uh, settled in. Just still have a lot of unpacking to do, but... For the most part, we've got everything in line with where we want it. And so I've started doing my streaming and uh, videos once again. Oh yeah, I would be too, Defender. The way that I look at, it, look at it though is, if I opened up a multiplayer and somebody saw a great one, they would shoot it in a heartbeat. They would not even ask if it was something that I wanted to take. If somebody was on my map and they found a great one, they would shoot it immediately. So I don't see any reason why I shouldn't do the same. However, I think I probably would wait for the host to leave. That way they don't lose it off of their map. I feel like that's what I'll do if I end up finding a great one in multiplayer. I'll probably check to see if it's the original host still. Because there is a way that you can actually tell if it's the original host. If the host of the game has a pink name or a pink marker, that means they're the original host. So for example, if the host of the server has this color, that means they're the original host. If the host has a different color, then they are not the original host of the server, so it's not even their great one. So I think that is... I think that is probably what I would do, is I'd check to see if it's the original host. If it's not the original ho host, I'll shoot it immediately. If it is the original host, I would probably just wait till they left. That way they wouldn't lose out on their great one. Because I would feel bad if it was, like... If they were still in the server. Like, there is ways that you can get your great one in multiplayer and not take it away from that person. As long as they're not in the server anymore, then they'll still be able to get their great one. I think it's pretty cool, Kyle. I haven't actually played it myself, as I don't really do missions that often. But honestly, that might be a mission that I'll do at some point because of how cool that trophy is. And I think that could be a cool video. What is going on here? These ducks, man. These ducks are something special. This is a different breed of mallard for sure. I don't remember mallards uh, levitating. 
Yeah, I don't. I, I definitely don't remember Mallard's levitating. What should you hunt? Um, how about Rocky Mountain Elk? Uh, where'd it go? Where'd the message go? Uh, Pennsylvania Wild Child. I'd say Rocky Elk. They're a lot of fun. Have you got the crowned whitetail rack? Sadly, no. That's one of the racks that I don't have. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big moose. Um, I guess we're gonna be chasing this one down. That is a really heavy track. I think as of now, I've got all of the whitetail great one racks except for... I don't have the typical looking rack. I don't have the drop tine rack and I don't have the crown rack. Those are the three that I still need. I'm really hoping this next one will be one of them. And to be honest, I think the crown rack will probably be the next one we find because that seems to be the one that's most commonly showing up right now. I don't know if you guys have noticed this too, but it seems like each update there's a different great one rack that is showing up most commonly. It seems like every update it changes which rack is showing up more. For the longest time it was the big rack that was showing up all the time. Then for a while it was just the cluster rack, or not the cluster rack, it was the Kinsko rack that was showing up all the time. And then it was the cluster rack that showed up all the time, which is the one that I have two of. And then recently it seems like the Kinsko rack and the crown rack are showing up the most. Oh, oh my gosh. I think that's a diamond moose. Oh, it, it could be. It's got a chance. It has a very small chance of being a level 4 diamond. That could make it. That definitely has a chance. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, there he is. Please make it. This thing's big. I think that has a chance. It might not be though. That might be one of the smaller ones, but I feel like I've seen diamonds that look like this. But I don't know if he's got the uh, the shovels in the front. He might not have the shovels. If he doesn't have the shovels, he won't make it. But I didn't get a good look if he did. I don't think he has them now that I look again. I mean, he's still a big moose, so we'll take him regardless. Oh my gosh, that wobble. I don't know if we got vitals. That might have been spine. That scope jitter was really rough. Yeah, me too, Duxton. I like that a lot. Because if it was the same ones that were always, like, the most common to get, people that hunt for multiple ones, they'd have a lot of the same looking great one. So it is nice that it kind of changes from update to update as to, like, which one is most common. I do think that's pretty cool. Um, it hasn't died yet. Something tells me that was a bad one. What was the estimate? Up to 279. 225 to 279 estimate. Still not dead, so it was definitely a bad shot. We definitely did not get a good shot at all. So that's pretty sad. That's the three. It's a level five bear. <laughs> Gotta figure out where that moose went now. If it was spine, he could still die. Although I think he probably would have died by now. Let's just have our dog track because I actually don't remember what direction he ran. Looks like Hunter remembers though. Now it will be a diamond? Yeah, that would be my luck. It dies and it ends up being a diamond. Oh, there's a female moose. Alright, he's coming back. We might want to just wait. We might want to just chill over here and wait for him. 
Hey, Jaden, you haven't missed too much. We've got a pretty big moose in front of us right now. We're not sure if it's a diamond, though. I don't think it is, but it's still a pretty big one, so we're going to try and take it down. Just going to wait for it to run along the river again. Because it should come back this way. What's my favorite animal to hunt? I really enjoy hunting the red deer. Yeah, probably, Brayden. We'll see, though. I can stand here and be hidden, so we're going to use that to our advantage. The cows are coming back, so he's definitely going to come along with them. Has he died yet? No, we're still good. That's the three. It's a cow. He couldn't be too much farther behind them, right? Unless he just decides to not come back at all. Which is also possible. They're all just like... Walking past me. And this guy has not even got close. Oh my gosh, there he is. Hi. Well, that went 0 to 100 real quick. Iron sight him? Uh, yeah, we can do some iron sights. He's gonna walk really close, so we can get him easily. Nope. You're not gonna get away this time. Now for the moment of truth. Is this guy gonna be big? I don't think it's gonna be a diamond, because... There is no shovels, but I guess it could still make it. I've been surprised by Moose before. Regardless, he's a big level 4. 252. Yeah, if he had the shovels, he'd probably be Diamond, but he doesn't have shovels. So he ended up just being a 252. Which, I mean, it's only 22 points off Diamond, so it's still pretty close. But not quite what we were hoping to see. Anything good yet? Just that uh, moose that we just took down. That's been the only decent trophy as of now. Hey Vitaly, how's it going man? Messed up a level 5 mountain goat. I'm sorry to hear that RS. Just take your time with those shots. That's the easiest way to avoid messing uh, trophies up is just take your time if it's on your map, then there's no rush, you know. That is probably the biggest thing when it comes to messing up diamonds is rushed shots. As long as you take your time and wait for the perfect shot, you should be able to get them down and get a vital hit most of the time. Honestly, the river's been pretty full of life today. Like, we're finding a lot of stuff here. I feel like it's a little bit more than what I normally find along this river stretch, which is nice to see. Uh, this has all been pretty heavily hunted by the people that ran through here first. But we got a little stretch left that's unhunted. Oh yeah, it's not easy, Bob. It takes ages. Last night got a level 5 moose off my map. Last weekend it's been a minute since I got one. Nice, dude, that's awesome, Caleb. Not really, Kathy. We haven't got anything too crazy. That's a heavy track. That's a pretty big whitetail track. Not gonna chase it, though. Trying to remember, what is whitetail time on Layton? Is it 12.30? I think it's 12.30. I feel like that's their drink time. It's 12.30, right guys? 12.30 is the time for, uh, for, uh, whitetail on Layton?
13, 13, 12, 30, 12, 30. Okay. Uh, so around that time. Let's see if we can find another one. Okay, that one is at elk time. Hopefully it'll actually work. How did I get so good at this? Uh, a lot of time playing. A lot of time playing. I'd say that's the number one uh, reason. I think at this point I've got like 3,500 hours put into Call of the Wild. That's probably the biggest factor. Hey Johnny, how's it going? Oh nice, you got a mellow dough. Should you go back to Red Deer grinding? I mean, if you're feeling like grinding Red Deer, then I'd say go do it. It is 12.30? Okay. Thought so. Connection has been lost, so I still can't connect to that server. Which is unfortunate, because it's at the time that I want. Um, I guess we will have to look for a different one. I mean, we could hunt Blacktail. Do a quick Blacktail hunt. Just imagine the next track you pick up says 97 to 110. Man, I would freak out if I found a track like that in multiplayer. I wouldn't know what to do. You know, part of me really hopes that when I do find a, a great one in multiplayer, if I ever manage to, part of me hopes that I don't find it while I'm streaming because then I'm going to have a bunch of people joining the session trying to get it before me. I just, I just feel like that would immediately happen. Let's wait for great one, 97 to 110. Yeah, Caleb, I've tried controller. It's not really my thing. I'm pretty bad at controller. I am way more comfortable with a uh, keyboard and mouse. I'd say yeah, Samantha. I think it is easier with keyboard and mouse just because you can be a bit more precise. And I think one of the biggest things when it comes to keyboard and mouse is if you play with like a somewhat low sensitivity on your mouse, you can be really precise with your movements. I think one of the biggest mistakes people make when they first switch over to keyboard and mouse is they have their sensitivity way too high and like the tiniest movement like just jerks the crosshair over to the side. As long as you have like a low sensitivity, you can be super precise on PC. I've always found that with controllers, it's a little bit hard to be super precise unless you're really good with one. But I mean, at the end of the day, it really comes down to like what you're used to and what you're more comfortable with. Because I know like in, uh, in like Call of Duty and games like that that are played competitively, there's some people that use controller that are just so insane with them. So I guess it really just comes down to what you get used to the most. But I think in general it is easier to be precise with a mouse. Yeah, Zyphon, we're really close, man. We're so close. I think like 240 away. It's just crazy. Every time I look at it, it seems like we're 50 or 100 subs closer. Insane. Absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and pick up these tracks. I want to see if these are okay. It's Whitetail. I was going to say if it's Blacktail, but this is indeed Whitetail tracks. Maybe if we're lucky, we can find a rare, though. Ah, uh, nope. No rares. Good on controller, tried keyboard and mouse, and it was way better. That's the, that's what I've heard from a lot of people is that they enjoyed console or enjoyed using controllers and then they used keyboard and mouse and immediately felt the difference. Oh, wow. Hollow setting down her soup to say hello. That is, that is insane. You guys should feel honored, Sam. 
and Johnny. You guys should feel honored that Hollow sat down the soup. Lost a level 3 Mallard. I'm sorry to hear that, Nancy. I've lost a few of those, too. The level 3 ducks can be hard to keep track of if you miss the first shot, and I've done that quite a bit where I've completely missed my shot and then lost it because I was in multiplayer. That's a pretty decent deer. Not a bad blacktail at all. It can definitely be difficult at first, uh, Christine. I've found that at first it's, uh, it is quite a shock and like quite different. After you get used to it though, it's usually, uh, pretty easy. Like the initial transition time for like keyboard to keyboard and mouse to controller or controller to keyboard and mouse it's always going to be difficult for the first little bit got a few deer over here but it's nothing insane we got a few nice fours but nothing too crazy i don't feel like walking all the way over to claim one so i think we're going to look at a different lake we already checked the area and didn't see anything good, so let's go check some of the other good blacktail areas. We'll go to this one first. I think they should be fixed, Sam. They should be fixed. What's my stream schedule? Right now, I don't really have one because I just finished moving. But typically, I would stream every day except for Wednesday and Saturday. And I'd be streaming at around 2 to 3 p.m. and then going for about one and a half to two hours. But it does vary a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, Zyphon. The thing is, like, that wouldn't even, like, uh... Nobody would even know, really. Because, um... Bree hasn't really talked on the stream too often. I mean, she said hi a few times, but I don't think too many people even know what she sounds like, and I'm sure most people don't know what Kyla sounds like either, so I doubt them swapping for a, like, a prank would even, like, I doubt anybody would even notice. Jeez, really, Sam? That's wild. Because that was the bug that was happening, but it got fixed with the last update. Is, um... Is it possible that your console didn't update the, uh... Or do you play on PC? I actually don't remember. But is it possible that it didn't update, and you're still on the old version? Huge learning curve for this game. Stayed with it and just got level 60. Got five diamonds so far. New Zealand's my favorite map. It is a beautiful map, Will. That is one of my top three maps. It's an awesome map. And that's pretty decent. Five diamonds before level 60. Not bad at all. I didn't get my first diamond until I was like level 51. So getting five before level 60 is pretty good. What time is Blacktail drink time? It is 16.30 to, I believe, like 20.30, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, do we have any Blacktail here? I hope we do. One. Oh, no, there's more. That's a good one. Two decent ones. Three decent ones. Okay, this is uh, pretty decent, actually. I'm happy with this little group of deer. There's actually a couple we'll probably take down. I really wish we had found a rare or a level five, but I'll take some nice fours. There's a couple more though. And none of those are anything crazy. We're still on the search for a level four rare. So that's something I'm still hoping to see. I want a level four rare uh, blacktail deer. 
But sadly, I've never been lucky enough to find one. How many great ones have I killed? Right now, four white tail, one red deer. Some of these are decent looking bucks. Especially that one. That guy's pretty nice. It obviously wouldn't make diamond because it doesn't have a high enough estimate. But it's still a good one. Nice, we got him. We somehow managed to get the brain shot or neck shot. I'm actually not sure which one it was. Probably hollow. Say hello for me. I will for sure. Right now she is down in the living room trying to set up a TV stand. But once I get done streaming, I will be sure to do that. For the update, was never able to play multiplayer, play on Xbox. The thing about Xbox is you have to have Xbox Live or Game Pass in order to access online features. So I'm guessing you probably just recently got one of those, yeah? Because it wouldn't let you access it if you didn't have those. Are these deer really already coming back? Wow. Honestly, the 270 did good on these things. This is the one that we shot in the head. 146, I believe this is the one that scores wrong, yeah. This is the one that has an incorrect score, so this has been like this for a while. It scores 4 on overall spread. There's no way that that is 4 right there. Especially when tip to tip is 11. That should be more like 17. So this would have like another 13 points on there, which would make it like 159 score instead. Or yeah, like roughly 159. So it's definitely kind of strange that that's a thing. I wonder if that'll ever get fixed. Uh, it's in the IRL picks chat, Revive. It's in the IRL picks chat. You have to be, you have to react to the um, other channel's role in order to have that channel show up. Nice, three really good black tail. Love to see it, love to see it. This lake right here always delivers for me. Just shot an albino 6.60 harlequin duck. Is that rare? Yeah, that's pretty rare, Blake. That's a good one. Hey, half run wild. Hey, Kason. How many diamond blacktail do I have? I think I've got roughly like 15 to 20 diamond blacktail. It's one of the species I've hunted quite a bit. Yeah, revive. You have to react to like the related roles in order to unlock some of the channels in Discord. And if you, uh, if you weren't reacted to that one, then that's probably why the channels aren't showing up. But yeah, it was posted in the IRL picks chat. I've actually already got one, William. That's what my second channel is for. It's called the second crow, all one word. And it's where I post like uh, card openings for like Pokemon cards, sports cards, and I'm also going to post um, IRL fishing videos on there whenever I get a chance to do that. Uh, no, gold wildebeest aren't rare. They're an uncommon. They are very nice, though. Hey, Austin, I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? Hopefully you're doing good, too. That's where you got your diamond rosy. Nice, Defender. Yeah, it's a good lake. I like it. Definitely one of my favorite lakes. Okay, that guy's gonna change the time, so we need to quickly scan this lake. Figure out if there's any good black tail here. That's a doe. Gotta just quickly check every corner of this.
Okay, I don't see anything too crazy here. So I think we're good. Question is, what time is he gonna change it to? I gotta know. Uh, Duxton, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Welcome to the Scarecrew. Enjoy the green name and chat, the special badge icon, all the awesome emotes, ability to use commands, access to private Discord channels, and access to my scrapped content on the channel. Really appreciate the support, and I hope that you enjoy all of the perks of the membership. Best spot to hunt red deer on Parque Fernando or Quattro Colinas? I don't really hunt either of those maps for red deer anymore, so I'm not the best to ask when it comes to locations there. Because a lot of things have changed on uh, Quattro since the last time I did a guide for it. And, well, really since the last time I grinded for red deer on there. Most of my grinding is done on Tiawaroa nowadays. But as far as Parque Fernando, a lot of the lakes do have red deer. Most of the lakes in like the middle and north. Went to IRL Picks and couldn't find it? Uh, let me look for it. Yeah, it was posted yesterday at 5.08 p.m. Yesterday at 5.08, revive. It's not too far up. You don't have to scroll very far to find it, so... Shouldn't be too hard. I'm assuming you probably scrolled past it. On Quattro, you can find red deer at almost every lake. Yeah, true. That is something I've heard from a few people. Ooh, that's an elk. Hello there, sir. Quite the ugly elk if I do say so, but... I mean, at least we found one. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything too crazy over here. Thank you, Austin. Glad you enjoy the content. Had no clue you had another channel, went and found it. Nice, Samantha. Yeah, I don't talk about the second channel as much as I probably should. I have noticed there's a lot of people that don't know it's a thing. I think I should probably start uh, sharing the videos that I post on there on the community feed. That way, everybody that does know about the channel gets a chance to see it. Because although most of the time we open up the Pokemon cars here on the main channel first and then post like the highlights on the second one, I do some exclusive ones on that channel too where I do it in a video format instead of a live stream. So there is some content on the second channel that has never been seen before on the main channel. Hey Kyla, how's it going? Oh, no worries. No worries. That is very understandable. Dinner is quite important. Ah, uh, nothing yet, Servid. We found a pretty good level 4 uh, moose, and then we found a few nice level 4 blacktail. No diamonds, no rares as of now. I did open some football cards, uh, Pops. I opened up a few really... Well, I guess not really old, but somewhat old packs looking for the Brett Favre rookie. Not going to spoil whether or not we found it, but I did open up like 10 packs or so of, I believe, 1992 or 1991 football cards. I can't remember if it was 92 or 91. But I primarily do the Pokemon cards on that channel. But I'll probably do some more football cards in the future as well. Can we go on Yukon? Ah, uh, maybe. We shall see. I'm kind of enjoying the Leighton hunting right now. Uh, I know what they are, CP. Or C plays. 
Should have an IRL food chat? Uh, probably not revive. We used to, but nobody used it. And also, I, I don't want any more channels in the Discord. It's already cluttered as is. I don't need any more channels. I figure food talk can go in general chat. Food pictures can go in the IRL pics chat, you know. You've heard of chicken and waffles, but have you heard of pulled pork and waffles? Hmm. Hmm. What would that even be like, Sam? Now you've got me thinking. Would that, would that even be good? That doesn't sound good to me. That does not sound like it would taste good at all. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but that does not sound appetizing. <laughs> You're about to find out. Oh, gosh. Well, tell me how it is. I'm curious now. First time watching one of your streams. What have I missed? Well, first of all, welcome to the stream, Bryson. It's uh, good to have you here. And we haven't really found anything yet. Nothing too crazy. Three eighths this rotation on Quattro. Nice expo. Uh, Sam, thank you for the two-month membership. Welcome back. Thank you for renewing your membership. Good to have you back, man. Hopefully your day's been going well. Do you have tips for me to shoot a diamond fallow on Hirschfelden? I don't know a lot about Hirschfelden's fallow, uh, Constantine. It's changed a lot. Uh, similar to what I was talking about with Red Deer on Quattro. It's changed a lot since the last time I really hunted for them. I used to know most of the fallow deer locations on Hirsch, but then they changed them at one point, and now I don't really know too much about it. I know if you follow the river, there's quite a few zones for fallow. It, it's not a ban, Blake. Uh, people aren't getting banned for repeating. They're getting timed out because they're breaking the rules. There's a difference. Just don't disobey the rules and people won't get timed out. It's that simple. The rules say do not spam. Do not repeat the same message over and over again. Because it clutters up the chat and it's obnoxious. It makes it hard for other people to get their messages seen because if there's just a sea of spam, it kind of floods out the other messages and makes it hard for people to get their message read. Repeating over and over again will not get your message read, by the way. Repeating over and over again is more likely to get me to ignore it. Because directly breaking the rules does not get your message read. My plate touches the table, it's a bit. <laughs> if I put my fork down, it's a timeout. Oh gosh, I love how you use like, uh, what's the word, like food analogies? Or I would guess, is it analogies? Is that the word I'm looking for? But anyway, I think that's perfect. Hilarious. That's a lot of deer. Gosh, I would love to find a diamond black tail out there. That would be really cool. Sadly, none of them are diamond, but that would be a really cool place to get one. Just a, having a diamond blacktail amongst a big herd like this with a couple moose mixed in. I think that would be really cool. You know, this is one of the reasons that I really enjoy hunting on uh, Leighton Lakes. You can find so many animals kind of just eating along the river during the drink times for other species so you can end up finding multiple species like with each other that's probably one of my favorite things about Layton. level two red deer do i shoot him or keep him i mean you could just keep him as a pet give him a name and then every time you do a run you just kind of look at him say hello he gets to witness all his buddies getting shot you know the good stuff Right, well, I don't see anything else over here, so I think probably gonna hop servers. 
Actually, wait a minute. No, this server got changed to uh, to elk time. Never mind. We're gonna go hunt elk. I didn't realize it was changed to elk time. Let's do it. Kind of, kind of just what I do now. Don't know a name though. Hmm. You could name him Spike, because I'm sure he's probably just a Spike. Are you playing multiplayer? Yes, Jack, I am playing uh, multiplayer. Bill Clinton got a super rare buffalo. Wait, really? I swear if he did. Oh, it's gonna be... I'm gonna be so sad. I've been looking for something like that for a long time. Ooh, that's a decent elk. Not bad. I'm 23, Blake. I'll be 24 next month. That's a big four, man. That's a good looking four. Oh my gosh, ducks everywhere. Wow, that's a lot of ducks. <laughs> that's one of the biggest clusters of mallards I've seen in a long, long time. I've seen these in the past, but not for a long time. There was one that looked heavy. One to two kgs, where did it go? Is that him right there? Can't get a spot on him. I'm trying to spot this little dude, but it's the only one I haven't spotted. Okay, that's not him. Um, where is it? There was definitely a 1 to 2 kg in there. Well, I have no idea where he went, so I guess we're probably just going to avoid him. We need to go look for some more elk, though, because since they're out drinking... We should take advantage of that and try to find a good one. Let's drop that guy first, though. It was an albino cave buffalo. Wow. That's crazy. I can't believe that. Jeez. That's insane. I swear his luck is crazy. So he now has two of the super rares I wanted. A super rare cave buffalo and a super rare red deer. Two things that I've tried to get super rares of in the past. And uh, instead I've got super rare white tail. Which I'm happy with. But. I'd definitely like to get a super rare cave buffalo. And red deer. That's crazy. But I guess I get, I guess I can't complain. I have got the, the great one luck at least. I may not have the best super rare luck, but I do have the great one luck. Your fork just touched your plate again. There has to be a three in three. What? I'm confused. Oh, I think I know what you meant. There has to be a three in there. In the, uh, the, the group of ducks. Yeah, you'd think so with that many of them, but I guess not. I guess there wasn't. There's that elk. Well, there's a bunch over there, too. Uh, all females. Nice, racing. 305. I like this rack a lot. I just wish it scored a little higher. Because this is a really good-looking elk. But elk score kind of weird. Main beam length, length of tines, and circumference. It doesn't really like judge tip to tip spread or inner spread or anything like that. What's the best gun for, I'm assuming you meant gators? Uh, to be honest, anything that is a viable, or I guess an ethical caliber. Because the thing with the gators is you just go for a neck shot. That's uh, the one thing about the gators that I do find pretty awesome. They may be kind of hard to hunt because of the fact that lung shots really don't kill them. 
And if it does kill them, they usually die in the water and then sink to the bottom. But because of the fact you primarily go for neck or brain shots on gators, it makes it so you can use whatever gun you want really, like 6.5, 270, 30 out 6, M1, 308. They all work great. Keep on hunting, Xiphon. Uh, the super rares are something that takes a long time in most cases. Because a super rare is about 10 times more rare than a great one. And when you see how rare a great one is, you can just imagine how rare it is to find a super rare. What should I hunt? Pixels? <laughs> I mean, d yeah, definitely would be hunting pixels. I don't know. I'd say, how about you chase after some blacktail deer, Mason? Blacktail I always find to be pretty fun. Or maybe some Roosevelt Oak since I'm chasing after them. Any tips for a way to find rare fur types? So the thing about rares, uh, Sprinkle God, is it's pretty much just like a random thing that can happen whenever an animal respawns. So really the way to find rares is just shoot everything in sight. If you're on your own map, just shoot everything in sight. And just hope that eventually one of them comes back as a uh, rare. And oh my gosh, these are the most pathetic elk I've ever seen in my life. What did we just walk in on? Talk about a shrimp fest. Should I buy a hunting sim too? I would not buy it at full price. If it's on sale, maybe. The thing is, they abandoned the game so it doesn't get updates anymore. And they left the game with a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff missing. So I'd say don't get it if it's full price, but if you can find it for like 50% off or better, then it's worth it at that point. But I definitely would not pay full price for it. Is Amela a gold Roosevelt elk a good trophy? Yeah, that's a really good trophy, what, trophy uh, Wyatt. Mela elk are one of the more rare things in the game. And so getting a big one like that is very hard to do. Two times, Kyla? Jeez. YouTube slacking today. Steam and YouTube are slacking today. I was having some issues with uh, Steam not wanting to be online. Making it so I had to restart my game in order to get the servers to pop up and now YouTube's crashing. What is going on today? Hopefully YouTube doesn't like crash the stream or something. Yours crashed once already too? Must be the most recent update they pushed out to the app. Just found a decent level 4 moose. Nice, Jaden. What is a super rare? A super rare is a diamond with a rare fur type. So like an albino diamond would be a super rare. Or like a melanistic diamond would be a super rare. Yeah, Mason, uh, Shammy, Lynx, um, Springbok are already this way. But yeah, there is some species that will not be having drink zones anymore. Very similar to like turkeys and rabbits on Mississippi. Uh, Springbok no longer have a drink zone. Um, there's one other species on Verhonga that lost their drink zones. I think it was Jackal. I believe Jackal don't have one anymore. And then... In future updates, Shammy and Lynx will be losing their drink zones as well. And I believe the reasoning for the Shammy is because apparently in real life they don't really need to drink water that much. Or something like that. Or no, that was for the Springbok. Springbok apparently don't drink water much in real life. They probably could revive. I'd like to see that change. 
Since in real life turkeys don't have a sense of smell, it would make sense. I don't know how hard it would be to do that. Yeah, me neither, uh, Mason. However, depending on how they change the chamois, I might start hunting them a little bit more once that update hits. Because I've always found it a little bit weird to hunt them in their drink zones when chamois are primarily like a high mountain animal. If they put them in the tops of the mountain, that would be really cool. I would love to hunt chamois feeding in the high mountains. I think that would be really cool to do. When's the next update? As of now, there's been no word on when the next update will be, sadly. Maybe revive, but sometimes um, removing something is just as difficult as adding something. And I think the reason that it might be difficult is because currently every single animal has a sense of smell. So removing it from one animal could cause some crazy bugs. Who knows if that's actually what would happen, but there's a possibility that could. And that might be why they haven't done it. But honestly, it's really hard to say. At the end of the day, I don't really know much about how difficult it is to add or remove things with their graphics engine they use. Oh my gosh, so many ducks again! This guy's duck populations are crazy good, but like the elk populations seem to be kind of mediocre. Not really too many good elk, some decent blacktail, and then ducks everywhere. But none of the ducks have been big, so that's a bit unfortunate. There's a black tail there. That's a three. Oh, there's the rest of them. Wow. There's actually a lot of elk there. Uh, none of them are rares though. And none of them are level fives. Sad. Very sad. And I think we've checked most of the areas. Yeah, I think we've checked pretty much everything. I think it's time to hop to another server. Alright, let's see. And you know, to be honest, we could probably do some great one grinding now. We've been streaming for about an hour, so I think it's about time we jump into Rancho and do a little bit of the great one grind. We need to at least uh, work towards this grind a little bit today. How does Casey get so many super rares? Uh, just luck, not really Call of the Wild. I mean, I had two super rares in two days, so it just happens sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky enough to find them. But the thing is, like, you know, KC spends hours hunting every day and has many weeks and months in a row without getting a super rare, so there's a lot of hunting in between the super rares, too. You know, that's one thing to take into account. It's not just super rares. There's a lot of hunting in between as well. Alright, let's do 8.30, or 8.32 or so. Just got my dream super rare. Yeah, I saw that not really call the wild. That's one of my dream super rares, too. I've been wanting a super rare cape buffalo. And I was really hoping that I would be able to get one, but so far I have not been so lucky. Alright, so there's our map as of the start of today's grinding session. Got the hunting pressure spread out between those, and there's actually none around the first lake we're going to, which is good. What is Casey's channel? It should be Kill Clinton. And it's spelled like um, K I L L C L Y N T O N. Think I spelled that right? We just call him KC for short because it's easier. That's a good buck. Pretty decent buck for sure. Um, we should probably switch over to the 308s because I still have the 270s on me 270 the 7mm should probably switch weapons 
Yeah, I'd be upset to revive. That's a really cool trophy and to lose that would be really sad. I would be very sad if I lost mine. Definitely would not be happy. Speaking of that, I should probably back up my uh, game files so I don't lose anything if it corrupts. Because it's been a couple months since I backed up my files last. Would definitely suck to lose all that progress. Alright, here we go. Let's get uh, let's get to business. I should probably shoot these first. I think they're closest. And if I shoot the others, these will spook off. So we're going to take them first. Beautiful. And I think that was all of them. Yeah, there's no more in that group. We'll take these two next. He gets rares and diamonds every day. It happens, Cobb. Like, sometimes you get really lucky. And if you hunt enough in multiplayer and know where to look at, like, each time of day, you can find some pretty... Pretty good trophies very consistently. I think a lot of it's just knowing where to look. And she lives to fight another day. Well, we hit her, but I don't think that was a good shot at all. Pretty sure that shot was bad. Yeah, it definitely was. Oh, gosh. Probably doesn't help that my aim is subpar right now. And she's gone. All right, well... <laughs> Even if we didn't get vitals, we're not going to get another shot. Do you type out someone's name with or without the at to ping them? Um, in YouTube, all you have to do is type their name. You don't actually have to put the at there. You just have to put like a portion of their name and it will highlight it. Like for example, if you just type Blake, it would highlight it for anybody that has Blake in their name. And if you type, if you just type Scarecrow in chat, it'll highlight it even without the at in front of it. You don't have to put the at for uh, me to see it, like... Anybody with the name it'll pop up for just by typing the name in chat. Are you a great one grinding? Yes, Jack, we are a great one grinding now. Two sixteen. that was the biggest buck of this uh, lake, so... Sadly, not going to have anything too crazy at this first one. Alright, let's see if we've got anything over here, though. Now that we've moved away a bit. Does not look like it. So I think all the deer were on this side and that side over there. Should be two more does down, and then we have a couple down here, and then we got to go to the other side. Ah, uh, yes, Siphon, that did pop it up for me. That does work indeed. Which is why a lot of times uh, the mods say not to do the at crow or whatever because it, it doesn't really change anything. Just typing my name normally will bring it up for me. Yep, just like that, Commando. Finished all the Yukon main missions doing side missions now? Nice, dude, that's awesome. Yukon's missions were a lot of fun to do. I did them when the map first came out, and it was quite a bit of fun. Unfortunately, the game files corrupted, and I lost all my progress on those missions, so I have to do them again if I want to unlock uh, that outpost, sadly. But it was a fun set of missions. I remember enjoying it quite a bit. <laughs> Not exactly the greatest shots, but you know what? It'll do the trick. I think it should take her down pretty quickly. Maybe not as quick as I would have liked, though. What's a good way to make some money? Uh, shoot everything, hunting club. 
But if you're looking for a uh, like a super quick way of making money, I'd say either hunting geese or hunting red deer or mountain lion. Because both of those give a lot of money and then hunting fallow deer on Tiabaroa can be really good as well. But my favorite ways to make money are geese on Hirschfelden and red deer on Tiabaroa. Killed a piebald level 3 mallard for my first super rare. Nice, Zach. That's awesome, dude. That is pretty awesome. What maps have diamonds in the mission? Um, let's see. I know you can get a mission diamond on Quattro, Leighton, um, Medved. I don't remember what else. I know those maps for sure have a diamond in the missions. But I don't remember which other ones. Are spirit bears rare? Uh, unfortunately, no. I think they're just an uncommon, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even a common. Wait, soup? What do you mean, soup? Kyla, Kyla put her soup down? <laughs> No, that was, uh, that was Hollow that was, uh, putting the soup down. That was Hollow Crow that was, uh, putting the soup down. Alright, later, Gobbler. Thank you for dropping in the stream. Pretty sure you have everything on that list. Just got Rancho Del Arroyo. How long should it take to get a great one? Uh, it really varies quite a bit, Rebecca. The thing about a great one is it's a random spawn just like any diamond or rare is, so there's not really like a certain time frame or amount of deer you have to kill to get it. It's just a matter of getting lucky. Best way that you can get a great one is just shoot as many bucks as you can. Get lots of bucks down. The more bucks you get down, the more chances you have at a great one. Hi, right, later, Zyphon. Thanks for watching, dude. Later, Bryson. Have you missed anything? Nothing yet, Hayden. We got a pretty decent-sized uh, moose along with a few level 4 blacktail and elk, but we have not found anything crazy yet. And now that we're great one grinding, uh, hopefully we can find ourselves like a diamond whitetail or a great one. But as of now, nothing crazy. But you know, almost all the time, whenever we're having a bad luck streak like this, it always leads to something good. So hopefully that'll be the case today as well. Can you use tripods for geese and it'll be effective? Yes, you can. Tripods, ground blinds, layout blinds, they all work the same when it comes to like visibility. They all hide you the exact same amount. So it's more of just personal preference, which one you enjoy more. I personally like the tripods best for goose hunting. I feel like they work the best just because it gives you that elevation. Oh wow, whitetail feed zone there, huh? Got a pretty good amount of deer over there. Which means we'll probably have slightly less over here and yeah, definitely seems to be the case considering there's only two on that zone. What about here? We got two right there. Oh, we got a couple right in that spot too. Okay, they're spread out pretty evenly it seems. No! They darted off before I could get a shot off, but I we at least hit this guy. He's not hit well, but... Now he'll for sure go down. Nice try, Briar. Nice try. Just shot an albino moose. Nice, Scrap Kid. That's awesome. Albino moose are quite majestic and hard to come by. Only got one myself. Mm -hmm. 
Boop. Nice, Carter. Congratulations. Don't like hunting Red Deer on Hirsch? I don't either, Revive. I don't really enjoy hunting much things on Hirsch besides Euro Bison and Geese. That's pretty much the only reasons I go to Hirschfelden. Is Piebald Moose rare? Yes, it is. Go back to Flinter's Albino Diamond Moose. Oh, that, that thing's beautiful. I feel bad that uh, it was before Trophy Lodges, so he couldn't even tax it. Really unfortunate. Nice, Nick. I bet that was a cool surprise to find on that map. Is the Cinnamon Black Bear rare? Yes, it is. That is a rare. Can you grind for Deer on Layton? Yes. You can grind for Whitetail on Layton. It's a little bit more difficult to find a lot of them compared to Rancho, but you can find them there. Nice fishing hunting. Um, for Black Bear, the rares are Cinnamon, Brown, and Blonde. That's it. Just Cinnamon, Brown, and Blonde for uh, Black Bear. There is no other rares for them. Have you played multiplayer yet? Yes, we played multiplayer the first hour of the stream. And now we're chasing down some white-tailed deer here on Rancho for the Great One grind. Yeah, sadly, there's no albino black bear. I hope one day we get them. Could you imagine how cool it would be to see an albino black bear instead of just like the cinnamon or brown or blonde that we currently have? I don't understand why they haven't done an albino black bear. It seems kind of strange considering they are a real thing. You would think that would be something that they would do, but it just didn't. It was the gold? Nice, dude. That's awesome. What lake am I at? We are currently at um, Bosque Alto. This is probably one of the more solid lakes when it comes to Whitetail. Our chamois hard diamond been chasing one for a minute now. They're pretty hard. I think the, the most difficult thing about chamois is they troll a lot. I think I've killed like five level fives and only one of them made diamond. So in a way, they are kind of difficult to get uh, diamonds of. Yeah, me too, Kyla. Me too, because there's also leucistic whitetail and blacktail in real life. And they're more common than albinos, but we don't have leucistics either. We don't have leucistics for any of the deer species, which has always seemed really strange to me because they're more common than albinos, but for some reason we don't have them. Oh, I forgot to shoot the deer over here. Oh well. It is what it is. We'll uh, get them next run. You like great one grinding? Yeah, I enjoy it quite a bit. I find it to be very rewarding. It may be difficult and it may take a long time, but the rush you get when you find a great one is like second to none it is such a good feeling when all that hard work finally gets rewarded that's the thing that really keeps me enjoying great one grinding yeah i could understand that kyla and honestly i feel like because of the fact that a lot of the stuff that we're talking about right now like black bear fur types and things like that when they originally did the black bear in the game that was during the time where they had very hard limitations on like or not necessarily limitations but like restrictions for like deadlines of when they needed to release stuff so i think a lot of it just came down to like time they didn't want to spend a ton of time 
working on stuff because they had deadlines on when they needed to release updates. Because I'm sure you guys remember, like, that was one of the biggest reasons why we didn't have simultaneous launches on a lot of maps. Was because of the fact that, you know, they had a deadline they needed to meet. But recently they've kind of... I guess opted for more of like making sure the content is finished and bug free and complete. But I feel like back then when the game was first released, clear leading up till just like a few months ago, it was more of like they had deadlines they needed to meet. So I think a lot of that stuff just didn't get added because of time constraints. I hope we eventually get that type of stuff though, because it, it really is a shame that we don't have leucistic white tail and albino black bear things like that it really is a shame hopefully one of these days we will get them maybe Joshua because we were playing a little bit ago what map am I playing right now this is Rancho Del Arroyo I can't remember, uh, Briar? Is it Wilma? Is that the name? I can't remember. I don't remember. Want a VR hunting game? There actually is a VR hunting game, Revive. There is a VR hunting game. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's just called VR hunting. It's actually made by one of the content creators in the Call of the Wild community. Uh, Ormi Gaming. I don't know if you guys have heard of him before, but he posts, um, he posts uh, Call of the Wild content, or he did for a while. I don't know if he's been doing it recently, but for a while he did post um, Call of the Wild content. And he made a VR hunting game. So as of now, we do have one. Imagine if they added Mela Lions. It would be cool, but I don't know if they would, considering they don't exist. But then again, Melanistic Red Deer are not a real thing either, but we've got them, so you never know. Melanistic Lion as a great one would be a cool thing, I think. If they're going to do it, that's the way I would want them to do it. What do you think about a map with just small game like squirrels, rabbits, groundhogs, waterfall, ex or waterfowl, etc.? That'd be cool. I like that, Caleb. I mean, to be honest, Mississippi is kind of like that. It's not completely that way because we do have stuff like gators and whitetail, but I mean, we got cottontail rabbit, we have bobwhite quail, we've got raccoons, we've got the eastern turkey. I think as of now, that's the closest thing we have to a all small game map. It's a decent buck there. We've got some decent deer. Uh, just no great one, no diamonds, but a lot of good size 85 to 100. Plenty boys debating on getting a VR. He should, I think that would be uh, cool. I've debated on getting one as well, but I think I'll wait until uh, something just like that I can't miss out on ends up coming out on VR. Like, if we get, like, uh, Call of the Wild VR, then I would 100% get it. But otherwise, I'll probably hold off. What did you guys think of that quick swap? That's gotta be one of my favorite little, uh, tricks that you can do in Call of the Wild. It's so much fun to do. Oh yeah, if they did Legends of Arceus VR, that would immediately make me want it. But can you even do VR on the Switch? I don't think so. I don't even think the Switch is compatible with VR. Nothing yet, Aiden. You haven't missed any diamonds. Got my first diamond, Ronda Ibex today. Nice, Abigail. That's awesome. 
The Ronda Ibex are probably my favorite of the four, so that's a cool diamond to get. Imagine the Hunter Call of the Wild on mobile. That used to be a thing. They had a The Hunter mobile, and they stopped development on it because it wasn't popular enough. Unfortunately, they ended up abandoning that thing because people weren't playing it. Which is unfortunate because I wanted to try it out, but when I actually went to look for it, I couldn't find it anymore and I, I looked it up and it had been discontinued. So it's unfortunate, but it used to be a thing. It wasn't anything like this Call of the Wild, it was more like mission based, like you would expect out of a mobile game. But it, it used to be a thing of sort. Maybe if you dock your... or dock it to your TV or PC? Maybe. It definitely wouldn't be like a full VR experience though. On Silver Edge Peaks got three diamond pronghorn in one week? Not bad, Tucker. Not bad. Alright, let's check this spot and then we'll bounce over to those. That's a good one. I mean, like I was saying a few minutes ago, we're finding a lot of 85 to 100s. But none of them have been diamond potential. Oh, we should probably go with the Hyperion first. Where'd the buck go? There he is. Blind shot. Oh my gosh, we hit him. <laughs> we actually hit him. It wasn't good, but that's more than I expected. Should change the stream name to Great One Grinding? I mean, it's already in the stream title. I've already got Great One Grinding in the stream title. I believe it says looking for diamonds and rares and then Great One Grinding after. Oh, no worries, Carter. I appreciate you dropping by at least, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, Sam. It'd be crazy. I am really uh, interested in seeing what, like, the future of VR is going to be like. Honestly, the biggest reason I haven't got a VR headset yet is because I'm really just waiting until they take them, like, to the next level. And you're able to play, like, full-on... Like... You know, crazy stuff like the hunter or like if you could do fishing planet in VR and have it actually be really good, then that'd be amazing. Like when VR gets to the point where I can play like pretty much anything in VR, that's when I'll probably buy it. VR classic, that would be pretty cool, Nick. That would be pretty cool. I think Classic would actually be the perfect fit for VR. Yeah, true Expo, but there's some days where you're not able to do that, you know? It's good for those times when you can't go out and fish or hunt. And I find that that's a pretty common thing in uh, the Call of the Wild community and like, all the communities for different fishing games and stuff. Because, like, not everybody everywhere is able to fish or hunt at all times. Where on Rancho is the best place for Whitetail? Uh, it really depends. First thing is make sure you're hunting at 8.30. 8.30 to 11.30 is their drink time. And then I'd go to these three middle lakes right here. All of these are really good for whitetail. Should try to get a great one on Xbox? Uh, probably not. I'm not really much of a console player. 
I, I just don't like playing with controllers. And I feel like grinding with a controller would just be pain for me. It would just be pure pain. Uh, did we shoot one or two? I think we shot two on this side of the lake. Yeah, there's the other one. 216. Good buck. I think we're gonna skip this lake and go straight to this one because I really want to see how this lake's doing. It's been one of our most consistent lakes recently. That's where we got one of our super rares and we've also had, I think, two or three level threes here, plus a rare doe. So it's been a very consistent lake. A snakehead, thank you for the super chat, man. Since they're the most common, even IRL, what 4 to 8 rifle would you like to see in the game? Um, I'd really like to see a 308 bolt action. We already have the 308 AR, so it's not like a necessity, I guess, but I'd like to see a bolt action 308 just to have it in the game. The other one I'd really love to see is a 7mm Mod 8. That would be such an awesome addition to the game. Uh, another one would be the 260. The 260 bolt action would be cool. Uh, the 280 bolt action would also be nice. Like, there's a lot of cool calibers that they could do that would fit that range. Once again, though, thanks for the super chat, Snakebite. Appreciate the continued support. You've, you've been such an amazing supporter of the channel. And I really do appreciate it. Oh, oh my gosh, this aim. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, I'm zeroing to 300 because 150 clearly ain't working. Hey, there, we actually had a shot. Duck aim has spread into whitetail aim, it seems. Imagine that's a great one. Oh my gosh, there were so many deer there. That was way more deer than I thought was in that bush. That's like when you see one of those clown cars, right? And it's a tiny car, and then like 30 clowns walk out of it. That's basically what just happened. I could only see like two deer, and the next thing you know, like five of them come out, and I miss every single shot on them. Wow. That was the roughest aim of the day. Why are you walking towards me? I just shot you, sir. Why are you running towards me now? You... Okay. <laughs> Interesting deer. Interesting deer. What class would I put the 25 on 6? Ah, uh, maybe 3 to 7. I think that would be a good 3 to 7 fit. Oh gosh, revive. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he wanted the smoke. He did. He ran straight at me. Not too often you see a deer do that. What's my favorite gun? Currently, the 308 is my favorite. Killed a super rare Harlequin duck. Nice, dude. That's awesome. A super rare Harlequin would actually be really cool. 222. The triple two buck. Then we got another deer over here that ran towards us, it looks like. What is it with these deer and wanting to run towards us? Two oh nine, that's another high scoring one for that rack. I actually kinda wish I had looked at that longer, because that was really high scoring for that rack right there. Typically that one just barely makes two hundred. Ben, thank you for the four-month membership. Really appreciate it. Time really is flying, man. It is flying like crazy. It honestly does not feel like it's been four months. Welcome back. What's my biggest red deer? My biggest red deer for a diamond is 269. Uh, my biggest in general would be the great one, and that one scored 273, I think? Either 273 or 272. Alright, later, revive. 
I appreciate you dropping in and watching the stream. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day. Uh, do we have any more? I guess we'll find out in a second. Come on, Hunter. Sniff it out. Show us the blood. Oh, guess there's none. Let's go check this lake now. I don't know, Sam. I have the same issues whenever I'm trying to create characters. Nothing over there. Oh, hey, we got Whitetail on that side again. Been quite a while since they've been on that side. Oh, that's a big deer. That's a big deer right there. I can't tell if that's a diamond rack or not, but... Uh, I don't think so. That's not a diamond rack. As far as I can tell, that one would not be a diamond. Can I spot you, please? Apparently not. There we go. Okay, so I think we'll shoot these over here first. And nothing yet, Scotty. Sadly, a slow day once again. Imagine you shot a piebald deer. I've done that before where I accidentally shot one not realizing it was piebald. I actually had that happen recently. On a stream, we ended up shooting a piebald buck and didn't even realize it was piebald because it was in the shadows. That was quite unfortunate to find out that I had just messed up a piebald. And we got to reload. I probably should have looked down before uh, trying to fire. But we got that shot somehow and that one. Beautiful. I mean, that wasn't vitals, but at least we hit. Had a move score 222. Nice, dude. Uh, not going to be able to get those. Hey, Brianna, how's it going? Yeah, we've built a pretty nice community here, Hayden. I always do my best to make sure that, like, people that are just here to cause trouble are, uh, dealt with in one way or another. We try to keep a very positive community here with very positive outlooks. That's one thing that I've always... When I first started doing YouTube, I always wanted to have, like, a very friendly and welcoming community. And I've been extremely lucky that, for the most part, everybody is super inviting and friendly. How many kills into the grind? I think we're at about 1,000 for this particular grind. In total, we're a little bit over 12,000, but for this grind in particular, roughly 1,000. Oh gosh, the wobble is real. We did get her though. Where are all of the drink zones? I mean, everybody's map's a little bit different. So it will vary quite a bit, but for the most part, you can get them at most of these lakes here. Like most of the lakes on the map have whitetail at this point. But it varies quite a bit between each person's map, so honestly, the best advice I can give for finding drink zones on Whitetail... Just set your time to 8.30 and search all of your lakes until about 11.30. Until you've searched pretty much all of them. 
And at that point, you should have found most of your zones. Oh, yeah, with my method, um, Caleb, what I do is I shoot the entire herd. Uh, because I'm not just looking for buck respawns. What I'm looking for is entire herds to respawn. Because I feel like when the game creates a new herd, that there's a better chance of getting diamonds and rares. It's, uh, it's hard to say if that's really the case, but I've had better luck doing it this way. And I've also found that on Rancho, destroying drink zones and completely eliminating full herds really does not hurt the actual populations of animals you have at each lake. So I've been doing it because it just seems to be the, the way that I've had the most luck. But it's not something that you have to do in order to, uh, in order to get a great one or anything. It's just my preferred method. It's the same thing that uh, Ron McTube and Mel's Gaming do with their grinds. Uh, they both use this same method and I think they each have five great one whitetail. Yeah, I know who KG is. Have you found a leucistic alligator in the game before? Unfortunately, they're not a thing in the game. I wish they were though because they are pretty cool. In real life, leucistic gators are pretty awesome, so it would be nice if we had them. But sadly, they never added them. Alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and hop off the stream. I think it's about time I jump off and finish getting everything set up for uh, the next videos and streams that we do. Because I've got a lot of foam I need to put up on the wall. And then I also got to get this new mic set up and all the sound settings tweaked. So I'm probably going to hop off and do a bunch of that, but I appreciate everybody dropping by. This was a fun stream. It, it honestly feels so good to be back streaming again after not being able to for the last few days. So once again, thanks, thank you to all of you that watch the streams. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!